Hi, thanks for being in a new video. This time it's a pretty fun video. We're going to compare Galaxy AI on the Galaxy S24 Ultra with Apple Intelligence, which at the moment I have it in beta on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and also other artificial intelligences that do the same thing. In this case with Pixel, with Oppo and with Xiaomi. So let's get started. Observe, we already have all the constituents here, so how about we start with Galaxy? We open Galaxy AI and notice that its behavior is that you specifically are going to point out what it is that you want to remove. So we're going to have to zoom in and in this case, for example, select the lady that was walking by. It's funny that you have to hold down and then press the eraser button, so it's several steps. Personally, it seems to me that Samsung could optimize this process to make it faster and easier. There I selected other people. Again, I press and hold and choose delete. There it is ready for me to simply press generate and it does its job. And in the case of the iPhone, there is a button here that says clean up and watch as it automatically detects some objects. In this case, it tells me to again, I enclose what I want to remove. There it immediately does the job. I enclose and again it immediately does the job. I'm going to click the generate button in Galaxy so you can see roughly how long it's going to take. And note that it's much longer than what we see on the iPhone because on the iPhone it doesn't need an internet connection. So the processing is done directly on the cell phone. That has pros and cons. Let's see for example the result. And note that in this case I need to save the image to be able to see it with more space. So let's save it as a copy. And finally here's the result. I want you to notice that Apple filled in pretty well. In fact Apple also removed an area of the bag there as well. In this part it also removed it with good quality. In fact Samsung is not giving me a very good result over here even though it is using the cloud. To tell you the truth I'm getting a little disappointed. Let's try Pixel's magic eraser now. Notice that it immediately detected some suggested areas here. Let's set it to erase all and that's it. Again notice how quickly Google did this. Although, again, in this specific area, it looks like it didn't have a very good level of accuracy. In this case, they were very small people. Maybe that's why it's making it more complicated than it should be. Right, let's take a look at what Oppo is doing. Let's select the smart loop. We select this lady and that's it. She immediately starts working. It's taking a little while. And notice how it has a very nice animation as well. And that's it. It's filled in. The result, to tell you the truth, I really liked it. In fact, of all of them, I think Oppo is the one that I'm liking a little bit more. But let's go to to this area which is the most complicated. We're going to try to eliminate these people that were going through there and again going to try to do the processing. I'm going to zoom in on these other devices so you can see the result that each one is giving us and watch Oppo I think has done the perfect job at this point. We didn't consider it as a protagonist in this comparison and look it's giving us an excellent result. Watch there it filled in pretty well. Pixel didn't fill in very well iPhone seems to have created a little bit of a strange wheel there and Galaxy has a little bit of a swept result so that's so far. Now let's go to Xiaomi which also has its own editor. Let's turn on Pro Mode which is with Generative Artificial Intelligence and we're going to notice how it will immediately do intelligent recognition as well. I can select the option to remove people and notice how I can just touch people and we're going to touch other people over here and that's it. It looks like it hasn't managed to detect those areas very well. So possibly the ideal thing to do is to manually select the area to remove. In this case, we do have to be much more precise with the area we want to remove. That's why a small magnifying glass appears here on the left, as you can see, so that we can select this area perfectly well. Now we are going to select also these other people that I was telling you. This is the most complicated area. So let's wait and see what the result is. There it is. We are going to select that he has already started to work. He did nothing. And he did nothing, strangely enough. I don't know if I did a bad job. I don't think I gave it a start. So let's go again. Quick camera, please. So now I've got those areas marked. We're going to set it to start. And let's wait for it to do its job. As you can see, it's taking its time too and it's about to finish. Let's see, there it is. The result is more or less good. Although the truth is that Oppo's result is the one I still like the most. Look, it's like this before and after. I think the filler does it very naturally. In the case of Xiaomi, I think the result is not so good in terms of filling. 
Similarly, Pixel has not finished convincing me much. iPhone more or less, although iPhone is the fastest and Samsung so-so. Let's go with another one. Here's another picture. We're going to try to eliminate these people that we're walking by. Actually, I think Samsung really needs to improve the software a lot because you notice that when you zoom in, you get a very cropped view. That's a very strange feeling. Everyone else has a good setup in this regard, with the exception of Xiaomi. Well, let's get started then. Let's select these people. Let's see if I can select them all at once. There it is. We're going to hold down and choose. We want to delete them. We're going to put generate. We're going to do exactly the same thing on iPhone. Notice that it immediately detected them. In fact, it even detected their shadow. And that's a good thing. That's where it's starting to do the job. Wow, the iPhone result was very good and very fast. That's where I selected the shadow. Notice that Samsung filled in with some foreign object. So we're going to have to mark how this was done and then go back to work. And this surprises me because Samsung is actually connecting to the internet. It should have a higher level of accuracy when doing these activities. But it seems like it's not giving us the best of quality. Let's see, let's go with Pixel while Samsung is working. We select Magic Eraser and while that's happening, we're also going to put Oppo's device to work. Watch again. Pixel immediately detected the shadows and the work is pretty good. Let's go to Oppo which asks us to select manually. There it is. It didn't recognize the shadows. And finally Xiaomi. Let's put Pro Mode on and let's select the Remove People option. Notice that Oppo left the shadows. On Xiaomi, we're going to immediately select all of these people that we want to remove. And I'm going to press the Start button. Again, the iPhone is performing better, which is funny because I honestly thought the iPhone was going to perform worse because all the processing is done directly on the device. Watch, Oppo isn't doing too bad at all. You have to give it a few extra steps though. Samsung also seems to need a lot of extra steps to ultimately manage to remove everything we want to remove. There's still a bit of a shadow left there. We're going to hit the delete button here again and we generate. On Xiaomi, again, the shadows seem to have a little bit of complication, but we're going to try to manually remove them this way. And we're going to select the other shadow that's left over here. And that's it. So in summary, iPhone is performing better on these types of edits. I think in second place goes Oppo, which in the first picture I like better. Third place, Google. I would say fourth place is Xiaomi. And in last place is Samsung. What's going on? Uh, let's go with another test because the previous ones eliminated little people or people who were getting in the way. In this case, I'm going to eliminate a person who was part of the picture. So let's see what he does. We start again with Samsung. We hold down and it immediately detected right. We're going to press the delete button and generate. Let's go to iPhone, put clean app. It will immediately detect the additional people. But in this case, I want to delete this person that's me. The result was very fast and very good. Let's go to Pixel, he's looking for the suggestions. And in the meantime, we do the same on the others. In this case, it only detected the additional people. But since I want to remove a protagonist from the picture, let's do this again. And there we are, let's see what it does. There's the Google result. And now let's go to Oppo. We're going to see again, Smart Lasso. Select and that's it. And while that's happening, let's also delete here on Xiaomi. Select this person. In fact, Xiaomi has an offline mode that as you can see, it removes it quickly, but it doesn't use generative artificial intelligence. For that, you have to enable the pro mode. And let's select again to remove person. I think this was easier for everybody. Everyone had a much more acceptable result unlike the previous result. Let's put here start. And that's it. Although Google still doesn't give me such a nice result, I think it's the worst in this scenario. Oppo has again done an excellent job, as has the iPhone, which again I find to be the most accurate. And Samsung has improved over previous photos, but is still not as far ahead as I would have liked. But you know what I'm realizing? That there is such a thing as a magic editor in Google. Possibly that's why it wasn't working. It's asking me to upload the photo to the cloud before I start using the magic editor. And now it's really going to allow me to circle and it's going to use much more advanced generative artificial intelligence. So let's hit the delete button. Notice that it's going to present us with several proposals, but it definitely requires an internet connection. So here are several ways to fill in that gap. 
They all look very similar, but now it does look at a much more advanced level of detail, unlike the magic eraser of several generations ago. So I was confused. I wasn't using the magic editor, which is more advanced, so consider that. Pixel improves tremendously when you use this option. Let's go with another test. Now trying to eliminate our friend Carlos Bazan. I am Carlos Bazan. Uh, so we'll leave click on Samsung, choose eraser and put generate in iPhone. We're going to just point to this body that we want to delete and that's it. It's going to do it all over again inside the device. It left the hand flying there, but well, let's just select it again and see if it improves it and that's it. Look, the iPhone is surprising me for the better. Let's go to pixel again. We mark this area and that's it. We're going to select delete. Let's go to Oppo. The truth is they're all doing a very good job. In the case of Oppo now detected all that area to see if it manages to compose it well. And finally Xiaomi. Let's see, in this scenario I think everyone has done a good job. Oppo over image things as you'll notice because it ended up selecting the whole space. But that's because I did it so fast. Maybe if I go a little slower and select the more specific area, we can come up with a better result. That's where it's working. All five of you have done a very good job on this photograph. I think it was the easiest of them all. Remember that Google gives you several filler scenarios, but in this case, being such an easy photograph, they are all similar. The Denamo, although I do have to say that the level of detail seen in all the other photographs is good, with the exception of Samsung. Again, Samsung is falling way short on the level of detail and it looks a bit artificial. Obviously, we are talking about artificial intelligence, but it looks too artificial. Tantai Natak. Like, and let's go with the last picture, which will no longer be about removing people, but objects. Let's then open up all these artificial intelligence tools. This is where I tell you Samsung should do better, because if you try to zoom in to try to mark the object better, you have very little space. So definitely that we're going to need to bring out the S Pen, which is a plus, but we keep the advice there for them to update the software. On iPhone, we're going to zoom in to mark this area. So we're gonna start with Samsung. We marked over here this part and there it is. Marked it nicely. We're gonna hold down and then we'll put the delete button. Holding down wastes quite a bit of your time. Let's see what happens with iPhone. In fact, in this case, I'm going to try to get them to start working at the same time. One, two, and three. Let's see who finishes first. iPhone didn't detect the whole object, so I'm going to repeat this part. Samsung keeps working and there we are. iPhone is done. It did very well. Samsung is watching how it took a long time and it generated a good filler for me. In this case it did get it right very well, although it took a little longer. You have to remember that Galaxy is doing it in the cloud, iPhone is doing it locally. Let's go now to Pixel and mark this area again. We are going to press the delete button and it starts generating different backgrounds. Let's do the same thing with Oppo. I think the object deletion works pretty well on all of these devices. We're not seeing any of them suffer more than they should. Let's go with this one that doesn't have a smart lasso, but you have to paint over the whole object on top of it. That's where it's working. And I think this time Oppo didn't fill in as nicely as they had been doing on other models or other pictures. Google, iPhone and Samsung have done pretty well. In Xiaomi's case, it looks like it's having trouble here. We're going to set remove objects. See if this way it does get it to remove, but it says it fails to detect objects. Let's see there. It more or less detected it. Let's finish marking the rest of the object and there we are. Now, yes, we put the start button and it takes a little bit longer. So I found the iPhone's generative fill to be excellent considering it doesn't use an internet connection. Obviously in very complicated photographs we could also have quite complex or weird results but in photographs where it's a bit simpler to remove objects I think it does a tremendously good job even though it's late to the artificial intelligence party considering that it doesn't need an internet connection. That's very important because all the other devices that are in this comparison do need an internet connection. So for the moment we have reached the end of this video. If you liked it, you know you can tell us about it. And we'll see you next time.